Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be reviewing Instaphoto for the BlackBerry. You're probably familiar with something called Instagram, which is the iOS version. Uh, not by the same company, but very similar ideas behind them. Alright, so I'd like to first thank David and the crew at Smarter Apps for helping me out with this. Great bunch of people, great customer service. Uh, definitely highly recommended. So to the review. All right, once you have the app installed, you'll see there's two icons. There'll be this one right here, which is a camera, and the other one, which is the camera with the little red plus. This is the quick sharing app, which once loaded, I don't have anything interesting in front, so I'm gonna take a, uh, actually, whatever. We'll take a picture. Snap a quick picture, and you're gonna have, this is gonna be your pre-selected uh, filter. So you can choose from all here, I have one selected and anytime you take a picture that filter will be applied write your message in send it to one of the three social networks that you're connected to and that's basically what that is for quick sharing on the fly you know what filter you want all right main part of the app you go to you have my gallery and recently on Twitter so these are pictures that people have posted from Instaphoto that have been submitted to Twitter. Uh, the only thing with this is that you're limited to just a couple of pictures. As you can see, you can't load more. It'd be interesting to see more and hopefully they'll come along with an update that will allow you to refresh and set the limit on how many images you wanna see. Now your gallery here, you have obviously your pictures. I only have one where you can share or delete. All right. and take you here. Now, I don't have anything interesting in front of me, so we're just going to select an image that I already have. Uh, normally, you would... I'm going to cancel this because I have to show you. Normally, you would just take a picture or whatever it is, and here you can zoom in, zoom out, move around. Now, this is about as far out as it zooms, so you're going to want to make sure that whatever image you're going to take is in there, or otherwise it'll get cut off on the sides here. Uh, once you've determined your area, click next, it'll crop the image and apply all their filters to it. Now this is going to take some time because they're actually applying each individual filter to the photo. Uh, and you have quite a few f to choose from. It doesn't take too long. Now what's nice is they have a tilt shift, tilt shift generator built in. Uh, once you load it up, uh, maybe I might show it later, they'll give you instructions how to use it. Otherwise, you can select from these fine filters. Now, um, to my knowledge, there will be more filters added uh, as updates come out. My opinion, and this is only my opinion, is that there are some filters that could be done without on here, such as the heads up display the mugshot, the periscope, uh, which are a little bit more, I don't want to say childish, but I mean, people that have the money to buy a Blackberry and that are going to actually put money down on apps probably aren't going to use those photo effects. Um, but again, this is just my opinion and I'm sure people like it. Uh, I just like to see it a little bit more professional. Not that it's not a professional app, but you know what I mean. Alright, so we're going to just take a, a filter here, torn, you'll see it render the image, and once it's done rendering, you're going to click up here, save, and from there you enter the message you want, you can share on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, also another thing I would love to see on here is if you're going to share it to Tumblr, to be able to add tags to your picture because Tumblr, a major part of Tumblr, is the tags and a lot of photos being shared on there and people search by tags. Uh, I don't know if this is a plan for future upgrades, but definitely something to look into if anybody at Smarter Apps is listening. And there you have it. So once that's all done, it's up and loaded. And now, the other thing about sharing is um, Instagram does have a few more places to be able to share the pictures. Uh, I'm hoping that Instaphoto also uh, will add more selections to their 
to their list. But other than that, it's a great app. Uh, it's worth the two ninety nine price tag. It's about the only thing that can compare or compete to Instagram on the iOS device. Uh, it's the best app that I've seen for adding filters on the BlackBerry. So definitely check it out. Uh, like I said, it's it's really good. It does the job and you'll be very happy with it. So thank you all for watching. Feel free to ask questions and uh, take care. Bye.